Today we're going to begin to describe aircraft, kinematics, and dynamics. Last time we introduced some terminology and matrix algebra that was used to describe aircraft motion. In this lecture, we'll use those tools to develop the equations which govern the aircraft kinematics and dynamics. So let's begin with the most basic thing, the relation between position and velocity. So position rate is the same thing as velocity, of course. So the time rate of change of the position vector of the aircraft in Earth axis is just the velocity in Earth axis. And so using our idea of transformation matrices that we developed last time, we can write this as PDT or not E is the transformation matrix from body to earth axis of the aircraft velocity in body axes. Now, you'll recall that this transformation matrix is full of lower angles. So in general, as a function of time, we would need 5t, theta of t, and 5t. So this was the position rate of the aircraft. The orientation rate is the angular velocity and one way that an angular velocity vector or any vector for that matter can be written if it has components omega x omega y and omega z is as an anti-symmetric matrix and this is just an algebraic trick that allows some of the mathematics to be defined using matrix algebra instead of cross products. So an anti-symmetric matrix for this vector would look like this. Zero is all along the main diagonal, and the three components are each repeated, once positive, once negative, on the off diagonals. This means you can write a cross product like omega cross u as the matrix product of this anti-symmetric matrix with the vector u. So then, if we have the position rate or angular velocity in Earth axes we can write this using a transformation which we'll call K from body to Earth axes of phi dot theta dot and psi dot. Here this vector or this matrix K is given by cos psi cos theta minus sine phi zero sine phi cos theta cos psi minus sine theta zero To get the angular velocity vector in body axes, we can use the transformation matrix 
multiplied the year's axis value. So this is now T, T, E, K, T, B, Pi dot, theta dot, Pi dot. Combining that, what we get is the angular velocity vector in body axes is one zero 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 plus phi minus sine phi minus sine theta sine phi cos theta cos phi cos theta times t dot theta dot phi dot and if we invert this we can get the ddt of the Euler angles is one zero zero sine theta or sine phi and theta cos phi sine phi over cos theta cos phi tan theta minus sine theta cos phi over cos theta times phi x in the body axis y and by omega x and omega y and omega z in body axes. This is really all the kinematics we need, the relationship which we derived earlier for the position rate and this for the orientation rate.